my research really has two arms to it. So the first half is looking at the public finances and thinking about issues facing the UK in the longer term that might affect the public finances, but also changes we've had recently in policy or in direction that have affected the shape of government, how well government controls its finances and its spending, and things like that. The second arm of my research focuses on the health and social care system. So in the past that focused on things like the future of NHS funding, so my research has overlapped at times. But now we're thinking more about uh, the structure of the health system and why different people get different amounts of care, for example, and how different parts of the system link together and relate to each other. So I think when most people think about economics and what sort of things do economists worry about, health probably isn't at the forefront of their mind. But it is a growing part of what economists care about. For one reason, it's just that we spend a lot of money on health. It's a big part of what government does. And if you care about government taxes and spending, as we at the IFS do, you do need to think about the health service. Another reason is that just health is very important to people. So if you're sick, you can't work sometimes. If you're sick, you're less happy. And if we care about people's well-being, then we need to worry about people's health and the healthcare that they receive. So that's just two reasons why it's an area that might have traditionally fallen outside of economics, but it's becoming a growing part of what economists do. Some areas we deal with are quite emotive, that people have very strong feelings about them, but if anything that makes it more important, not less important, to have some objective analysis of the facts, of the data and of the figures. At the IFS, much of our research focuses on what's known as micro data. So a lot of the time, that would be, in my case, we look at things like hospital records. So we have people, every person who's been to hospital since the mid-90s, we have records of where they went, what happened to them, what was done to them in hospital, when they arrived, when they dis discharged, etc. Or it might be survey level data, where you're having information about individuals' family structure, their income, their wealth, their housing, whether they've got a job, those sorts of things. And often by linking these data sets together, we can answer really interesting and important questions. And to do that, we use statistical software. So that involves learning to code and writing up uh, formal empirical analysis in code form. And then also it'll involve creating pictures and charts and tables, and also importantly, writing about it and putting it in words, trying to tell a story, explain what's happened, and offer a compelling narrative. The outcome I like to see from our work in part depends on the type of work. If we're writing an academic paper, what we really want to do is get it published in a good journal, get a good peer review, people are happy with it, and hopefully other people build on that work to develop the field further and to answer future important questions. If it's a piece of policy analysis, it might be a really quick turnaround, maybe the government announced something yesterday and we want to say something today. What we would like to do is get people talking about it, get people in the news, in the public, ideally in the pub, in the schools, in the playground, whatever, talking about this policy and hopefully we can help inform that debate. And some of these things are really important and perhaps don't get the attention that they should. So if we can draw attention to these things and offer what we think are the important points we've got to take away, that's a great outcome.